Good afternoon, Power Athlete crew. This is Ben out in Washington. Just wanted to call and give you the opportunity to hear my five-star review in my own words. A uh, long-time listener, I remember the week the Fred Hatfield podcast dropped, uh, and I went all the way back as far as I could. I believe it was like around episode 10. So, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm listening sorry, for a while, dude. never called, never left a review, so it's only fitting that the first one I do, I read for you. <clears throat> titled, What does the Premier Podcast on Strength Conditioning have to do with a cup of coffee? The Premier Podcast on Strength Conditioning is like a well-roasted cup of coffee. At first glance, it looks like every other cup, except this one is hot, piping hot. So hot that only CEO John Wellborn can chug it and leave the rest of our mortal taste buds as a wasteland. Once it mellows to the desired temperature, it first hits your lips with a sweet, a powerful punch that only Cali can provide. As the morning elixir cascades over your tongue, you realize a slight nuttiness and a shot of caffeine, enough to make your hair raise, and hair he does have. This is from the one and only Tex. Lastly, there's a strong finish that is reminiscent of diesel freshly siphoned out of that 1987 square body. This nostalgia can only be provided by the one and only John Wellborn, a.k.a. the big guy. Not to be confused with the French roasted, well born A. Don't even think about filling this cup with any creamers, sweeteners, or fillers. Just add more coffee. The only thing proved to add to this cup of Joe is a kick ass guest, which come in hot and frequent. This is what will get your day and life headed in the right direction. So next time you're searching for a little pick me up, remember the premier podcast on strength conditioning. Ing, ing. Love what you guys do. Keep kicking ass and taking names. Damn, that was pretty good. Uh, I'm even more impressed that he wrote that out ahead of time. I know. Well thought out. I want to know what's on the like the, the cutting room floor. Uh, what jokes edits? missed? Uh, you think he bounced it off anybody? You, no. You, or you think he just, he just wrote it and, you know, I was like, you know, having a long day. And it's like, you know, I'm going to write the, my ode to Power Athlete. You know, this will be my opus for the Power Athlete Radio. And he writes it. You don't think he reached out to his wife or his girl or somebody and was like, hey, can you look this over? It's just creepy or weird. No, fuck it. Just go with it. Uh, now I loved I'm it. curious of who he did reach out for a <laughs> soundboard. It was obviously Callie. He's like, hey, Hens. You think, he, I mean, she does get hit up a lot. Remember that homeless person when she was on her beat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey, Power Athlete Radio. I love what you do. Great things. Great things. And she's like, how does this guy even know about Power Athlete Radio? I don't know either. Uh, well, that is a five-star voicemail. If we could get him to actually type that into a five-star review on uh, I have the iTunes. voice and text. I can just cut and paste it for him. Yeah, that's true. We could. I think you should. All right, I'll take care of that.